Alright, today I want to take a look at the Hanging Atwood machine, which consists of two blocks hanging from a string which is run up over a massless and frictionless pulley. And in this problem, we're going to derive expressions for both the acceleration of these blocks as well as the final velocity of this block when it hits the ground down here. Now I've solved this problem in the past using force and kinematics, and, and you can click up here if you want to see that, but what I want to do today is actually show you how to solve this problem using energy instead. So we're going to start with the work energy theorem. And we're simply going to apply this formula to what's happening in the problem. So you can see, if everything starts at rest, that's going to make our initial kinetic zero. And as far as initial potential goes, this block is starting on the ground, but this other block is starting some distance up off of the ground. So there is in fact going to be some initial potential. Now the initial gravitational potential is going to be given by the potential of this block, plus the gravitational potential of this other block. And yes, this is getting color coded because that's how we roll around here. Now because this pulley is both massless and frictionless, there's going to be no non-conservative work in this problem. That is to say friction is going to do no work or we have no outside energies contributing to the system. Now there will in fact be some final kinetic. We know as this block moves downward, it's going to develop some kinetic energy because it's going to be moving. And much in the same way as this block is moving down, this other block is going to move up, so it also will develop some kinetic energy. So our final kinetic energy is going to be given by the kinetic energy of this block plus the kinetic energy of this block. And I want you to realize these two final velocities are in fact the same term. If this block over here is moving down at some final velocity, this block must be moving up at the same final velocity, otherwise the string would have to get either shorter or longer. Now last we have our final potential energy. And it's true that as this block moves downward, it's going to lose all of its gravitational potential. But as this block is moving down, this other block is going to move up and thus gain gravitational potential energy. So the final gravitational potential of this block is going to be m1gh, where h is the same height at which the second block started. And this block is going to finish with zero gravitational potential because it's going to be on the ground. So substituting these three functions into our work energy theorem, we're going to get this expression. Now you'll notice we have a potential term here as well as here. So I'm simply going to combine these so we have all of our potentials on one side and kinetic on the other. So ultimately what we have now is a loss of potential on one side of our equation and an increase in kinetic on the other. And at this point we can simply rearrange this equation for Vf. And we're left with this expression relating the final velocity to the masses as well as the height over which this block moved downward. So having found the final velocity, let's back up and solve for the acceleration of this system. So to solve for the acceleration, what I want to do is look back at not the expression for final velocity, but rather this line just before it, where we had this Vf squared term. And what we're going to do is apply a kinematic equation to this where final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus 2AD. In this problem, realize the initial velocity was zero, and the displacement is what we're calling H. So subbing in this term 2AH here, we'll get this. And at this point, this is just a canceled party. So rearranging this for A, we'll get this. And realize this expression is really nothing other than Newton's second law. We have a net force in the numerator divided by a total mass in the denominator. So this is how you solve a hanging Atwood machine using energy. And on that note, that's all for now.